Which brings me to the my my um sort of question in proposing this because here we are bathing in the new life post Easter. <clears throat> what is up with death, Father Pat? Mm. Death death is everywhere. I hate it. Yeah, as well you should, or should we? This is my question. Death death is so stitched into the fabric of our everyday ex- everything. Like the fact yeah. that we eat food, there's death involved in everything we eat, whether yeah. it's plant, animal. There's death everywhere that then turns into life. Uh, and I, I just, this could take us an hour and a half, and I know we don't have time for that, but <laughs> you, you just wonder why, because is death only here now because of the fall? Or is, is there some sort of mystical dying that... Um, is part of the very life of the Trinity that we're, we've been invited into from the beginning, but we just didn't do it the right way. And so now it's, it's a bit different. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you just said there kind of, I feel like gives it away. I've thought about this too, but the, um, when God gives the great permission to Adam and Eve in the garden, I give you all these fruit trees with their fruit on it for food. Mm. Like, like you just said, for that living thing to become now part of me, that living thing uh, has to give way, has to give up its life. Mm. Um, now, of course, there's no conscious sentience there, but it does it does die, right? Mm. And uh, but like, I think it was Fulton Sheen who talked about like the the only way for the lower to ascend to the higher is if it if it if it's willing to die. So the only way for mm. minerals to ascend to the level of um, something living, they have to give forth their substance to be taken up into the plant. Or for the plant to become part of the animal, it has to give forth its substance to be taken up into the animal. Mm. Or for the animal to participate in human ration, to the rational life, this intellectual life, it has to die, right? And that irrational cow like <laughs> becomes part of my being. It's a rational being. That cow is now part of me participating in rational life. And, but then he says, how do we become part of the divine life? We also have to give forth our substance to be taken up into. Mm. So, um, yeah, I think you're onto something. I think that there is a sort of mysticism in that, not to, you know, glorify death and the sort of, uh, Thanatos, you know, drive or whatever, but it's, yeah. it's, there is a mysticism into the whole idea of yielding forth your substance, giving yourself away. Like in order for that caterpillar to become more, it, it has to break down within the chrysalis and everything reconstructs mm-hmm. and it comes forth as something more. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there, there's no other way. I love yeah. that you're pulling out that example from Fulton Sheen, and I think you're right that it's to, uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen. There's no other way. And we have to, I think we constantly need reminders of this, that there's no other way. And it, it happens, you know, it's not just a biological reality. This is a spiritual reality. It's it's in every kind of relationship. If, if we're going to have anything grow, uh, it's in our ideas. You know, it's about letting go of something so something new can break forth. Uh, dropping old things so new things so that can become that sort of leaf mold that becomes the foundation for something new to spring forth there's no other way the only alternative is, is a stagnation a, yeah. uh, a staleness and I don't want that I don't think anybody does so I, I love I love this work that's drawing us into the beauty of what it could look like on the other side I will say again Damien Hurst's other works <laughs> He he is a bit of a shock and awe artist, like some of this this young British yeah. uh, artist movement. But he's saying, like we're all trying to run. He'll 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 say this, like we're trying to run away from death. We're trying to forget it. We're trying to push it away because it's awkward and ugly. But he he even says things like, you know, take away the smell and look, and there's amazing things in decaying flesh, greens and purples, like. But people don't want to talk about that. Yeah, no. Not at all, no. but but pressing in and saying, okay, well, why it's unfolding? What's up with that? Gateway to something new, 